Uh, when I wear the niqab, I feel always like uh, it reminds me with like my who am I, like my my identity as a Muslim. Like I always feel like um, this is me. Like uh, I'm a Muslim uh, woman, so I have like to act always in the way that like my religion teach me. I have always to be like good and to always uh, do be the best as I can. I have always to do the best in my in, in my life, in my education, in my uh, personal life, and in everywhere. After a heated debate that occurred during the federal election, Canada's new Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, has dropped the appeal to ban the niqab in citizenship ceremonies. The controversy began when former Prime Minister Stephen Harper commented on the veil and its association with oppression. Why would Canadians contrary to our own values, embrace a practice at that time that is, that is not transparent, that is not open, and frankly is rooted in a culture that is anti-women. Originally from Sudan, Dua Saber was raised in Saudi Arabia. Two years ago, she came to Canada to study. She doesn't agree with the ban and thinks people have misunderstood her religion. I think I I would not yeah take it off too because like um I already checked my identity with like an officer before the oath so mm -hmm. like um I don't believe that I have to show my face and already like the people knew who I am I honestly I didn't feel like so much offended because like I knew that maybe some people don't understand that the the reason why we were the niqab so that's why maybe we have to uh, explain for them more. Or like, and also they have to come and ask. So there's no any like bad thing in coming and asking us. So it's okay. In fact, this isn't only a politicized issue. It affects the daily lives of Muslim women in Canada. Apprehensive looks and comments directed at Elif and Dua make their lives more difficult as newcomers in this country. Most of the people perceive Canada as a really, really, um, yeah, multicultural, really respectful country. Yeah, wow, we are going Canada. Oh, you will feel really, really freedom. You will free, free. But uh, when I came here in the uh, first week, it, I had, uh, I faced so much struggle with there that I didn't expect like that. When I still, when I sit in the Tim Hurton, the man approached me. Yeah, I, I got, I'm in the, uh, yeah, my left. There is a man mm -hmm. still my left, and uh, it's older man. And there is a boy uh, still my other side. And when I enrolled in my mm, courses, <laughs> the man said to me, "Be careful when contact with ISIS." In the Timurton, in the San George, it's. <laughs> How did you feel is, about that? I feel like, I feel like nothing. I just shocked there. I didn't say anything. We we never were taught like that we have to kill people who are not from our religion. We never taught that we have to steal from other people who are not Muslims. This is wrong. So all what I know that Islam like, I really like. I have to treat people always better than what they are treating me with. If they are treating me good, so I have to treat them good and even better. Like I, it's like for us, it's forbidden to lie, it's forbidden to cheat, it's forbidden like to kill. In each religion, there is the bad side and the good side, and this is normal. I know, like people, if they see something that is, is different from what they always see, of course they will feel like um, uncomfortable, and of course because they don't see me, they don't know who I am. But the thing that, um, it's it's not always bad to ask. Maybe they can yeah, come and ask what's, why you do that, why you wear like that. It's like, it's okay for me, of course. And I know for many other Rikabis, it's like that. However, not all Muslims wear the hijab. A Muslim herself, author and Toronto Sun columnist Farzana Hassan, is for the ban. Her article in the Toronto Sun states the niqab is a symbol of misogyny. In fact, she calls wearing the garment a problematic concept and many have made an uninformed decision. I am supporting the ban in, in the public sphere. I am not saying that we need to legislate against the burqa in the private sphere. Uh, women are entitled to do whatever they want, however they dress up in their homes, among their social circles. This is basically 
a ban that we want to legislate in the public sp space because there is a certain decorum and a social contract. When we enter into the public spaces, we enter into a social contract with other people. And they have the right to know who they're talking to, the, the, the right to know who they're interacting with, the right uh, not, not to be insulted by someone you know, who decides to just cover up and feel as if you know, their sort of uh, face is not something that the public should see. So it's, it's something that I find as an affront to society, so which is why I'm uh, supporting a ban. I think that, you know, th this is restrictive. I think the women who choose or say they choose to do it, because I would even doubt that concept. Uh, but, but in many cases, you know, it's the husbands who have imposed this on them, or it's, it's family values or, or something that they've grown up with. So I, I think that, um, you know, a lot of these things create problems for women in limiting their opportunities. Aslihan Arikan is Muslim. However, she does not wear any garments that cover her face or body. She says it's a personal choice, but she doesn't agree with the ban. I think it's a form of humiliation. I know it's a little extreme there, but I. I personally think it's discomfort. I've seen many Nikabi women struggling to eat in public. It's It saddens me. I don't agree with the ban. Um, I think it's uh, that's also an extreme, like I mentioned before. You're taking away their freedom. They've left their countries to come here, um, or they've been brought up here from their immigrant parents, uh, and they've been raised a certain way. And Canada is supposed to be a country of freedom, so I, I do not agree with this ban at all. Oh, to me, a Muslim person is someone who, you know, abides by uh, the ethics of the Quran. And the ethics of the Quran is very much more than, you know, a piece of cloth. The Quran says to do justice. The Quran says, you know, be kind to your neighbor. The Quran says be charitable. The Quran says be kind to your parents. The Quran says, you know, treat your children kindly. You know, treat them in a loving way. To me, that is, is basically who a practicing Muslim is. It's, it's not the ritual, it's, it's not the symbol, it's not the garb, it's, it's not the garment. I mean, to me, a Muslim person is much more than that. Despite her experience as a Muslim woman who chose to wear the veil, Saber identifies herself as a Sudanese Canadian. She embraces both her cultural background and the country she now calls home. Most of the people of in Canada like that, yeah. So you don't find like someone is Canadian, Canadian. Like all of us are like, that's what I like about Canada. Actually.